The word for today, passion for God. Passion for your house has consumed me. Psalm 69 verse 9. Question. Are you passionate about God or merely passive? Note the steps that led to Peter's denial of Jesus. Step 1. Satan has demanded the right to test each one of you. But Simon, I have prayed that your faith will be strong. And when you have come back to me, help the others. Luke 22, 31-32 Jesus warned Peter he was a target, but Peter didn't believe him. Step 2. They arrested Jesus and led him to the high priest's house. And Peter followed at a distance. Luke 22, 54 Peter was one of Christ's closest disciples, and now he was following him at a distance. Step 3. A servant girl said, This man was one of Jesus' followers. But Peter denied it. Woman, he said, I don't even know him. Luke 22, 56 to 57. Step 4. That moment the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Suddenly, the Lord's words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even know me. And Peter left the courtyard weeping bitterly. Luke 22, 61 to 62. Here is how it works. First, you assume you won't fall. So you're unprepared for Satan's attack when it comes. Next, you allow the problems and pressures of life to make you forget that your first commitment must always be to the Lord. Finally, you end up spiritually defeated. You say, that will never happen to me. That's what Peter said. The reason Satan has asked for you, Luke 22, 31, is because he knows when you become passionate about doing God's will, you will be unstoppable. So, never lose your passion for God. That is the word for today.